Welcome to our team. My name is Zwingy F from class 4D, Chungyan Primary School. And my name is Ai Kwa. I'm from the same school as Zwingy F. And here is our last member, Mike Ling. Hi, I'm Mike Ling. I'm a fourth grader from Nottingham Primary School. Three of us may pursue different hobbies, but one thing we have in common is our great interest in the solar system. And can you guess what we are going to share with you guys today? It is all about a special planet, a gas giant, the planet Saturn. Saturn, the sixth planet of our sun, is the second largest planet in our solar system. It's just smaller than Jupiter. Just like Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune, Saturn is a gas giant. Saturn is made um, of hydrogen and helium and crystals of ammonia in its uh, atmosphere. Although Saturn's atmosphere is made of gases, scientists believe that if you go down through the atmosphere of Saturn, the hydrogen and helium will become liquid and further down, the metallic. And, uh, in the, and scientists believe that in the center of Saturn, there's a hard, rocky core, like quasi. Saturn is the least dense planet in the solar system. Although it is much larger than Earth, about 9 times wider and 95 times more massive, it is only about 12% as dense as the Earth is. That means if you are able to find a bathtub big enough, Saturn will float in the water. Like Jupiter, Saturn has storms and stripes of clouds. They are just hard to see because of their pale color. Saturn's winds are much faster than Jupiter's winds, however. Saturn has the second fastest wind in the solar system, reaching speeds of 1800 kilometers per hour. Saturn is very far from the sun. It takes 890 million miles or 1.4 billion kilometers from the sun to Saturn. And also, a day on Saturn is 11 hours. But a day on Earth is much longer for 24 hours. So far, Saturn is the furthest planet that can be seen by humans without help from anything, not even a telescope. Although ancient astronomers knew about Saturn, no one knew about its rings. Saturn's rings are not visible uh, without the help of a telescope. Uh, that wasn't until uh, Galileo, the astronomer Galileo used a telescope to observe Saturn in 1610. Uh, he, when he saw Saturn's rings, he didn't know what they could be. He thought they might be moons. He thought they might be smaller planets set beside the main one in the center. He even described Saturn's rings as its ears. When stronger telescopes were made, um, they were, uh, uh, astronomers realized that they are Saturn's rings, white, black rings. In addition to its rings, many moons and satellites orbit Saturn. It has at least 62 moons and perhaps 100 more smaller bodies also circling it. Saturn's largest moon, Titan, is the second largest planet in the solar system. Scientists are very interested in Titan because it is the only moon in the solar system known to have a dense atmosphere, mostly nitrogen with some methane and hydrogen present. Currently, Saturn has four spacecrafts that are orbiting them. The first one was launched in 1979, named Pioneer 11. Not shorter, shorter after that, there are three more launched, were named Voyagers and two more that I don't know this name. And right now, they are orbiting the planet for 17 years, sending pictures, information, which started from the year 2004 until today. We cannot know what will happen to Saturn without their help. We we hope you enjoy learning about Saturn, the ring planet. Goodbye, children.